Hi, you must have seen these indent knobs in PowerPoint and wondered what the hell they are used for. In this video, I'll clearly explain what these indent knobs are and how can you use them to make your text more readable for your audience. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. First of all, to see the indentation tabs, you need to have ruler in your PowerPoint. If you don't have the ruler, then go to view, check the ruler option, and you will have this ruler option. Now you select the text and immediately you will notice these indentation knobs. Now, what do they do? It's fairly simple. There are three indentation knobs that you see here and each of them has a separate function. Let me show you what the top knob does. Let us select the first line of a paragraph. Now, click on the top knob here and then move it all the way till one and notice that only the first line has an indentation and it moves till the point where you've moved this top knob. Now, what does this middle knob do? It impacts all the lines, but for the first line in a paragraph. Now I've got my cursor on the second line. Let me go to the middle knob and move it till this point here. So click and drag it to that point. And you can even see a smart guide that tells you where that line goes. Now, when I release my mouse cursor, you will notice that my second line onwards has moved and the first line has been retained in its original position. Now, what does this bottom knob do? It helps you to move all the text from all the lines in a paragraph uniformly. Let me place my cursor over here at the start of the second paragraph. Now, let me click and drag this rectangle here, which is the bottom knob. Now, let me move it all the way till point two here, and you will notice that everything has moved to this side. Now, where would you use this option? You would use this when you have a lot of text on your slide, like the way that I've shown you just now. And if you want to design a brochure or any of those text-based design elements, you would use these indentation knobs quite regularly. And in general, if you want to space out your list-based elements, you can use these indentation knobs to do so. So those are the various uses of these indentation knobs. So the next time when you use PowerPoint and notice these knobs, you will know what to do with these indentation knobs. In the meantime, do you want to learn some simple and creative PowerPoint ideas you can use in your next presentation? Then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 creative PowerPoint ideas. These are simple, quick and useful PowerPoint ideas I have not shared elsewhere. So go ahead, click on the link, join the course and I will see you inside.